Hello and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. You know, I'm rarely at a loss for words, but I'm sure you heard by now, those illegal immigrants that were flown over to Martha's venue, some lawyers have, have now got with them and sued Governor DeSantos for shipping them to Martha's venue. That's right. Within the last 45 minutes, we learned lawyers for some of the migrants on last week's flights have now filed a lawsuit against Governor Ron DeSantis. They claim what they went through was unconstitutional. We're still reading through their complaint. We'll share more coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Now, Joe Biden has been shipping these illegals in the middle of the night since he came into office, and not one single Republican has done anything. Not one single rep so-called Republican lawyer has done anything but go on TV and talk about it. Why is it that we can get these lawyers for the Democrats, which they're not really lawyers. These are just a bunch of communists who wants to shove. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, one of these George Soros organizations is paying for this because this particular organization is known as a NGO, a non-governmental organization agency, which I say the NGO technically can stand for Nazi government organization, because that's technically what they are. Do we have laws in that? How is it kidnapping? Are you freaking kidding? You broke in the country. Now, when Joe Biden was flying them around, all these illegals who have died coming over here with the drug cartel and these coyotes who've been doing this, nobody got a lawsuit going. This is why you cannot play nice with these people. Now, think about what they're saying right now. For being flown to Martha's venue, you're going to be sued. So, I'm sure we're going to have to use some government money in order to fight this lawsuit. So, all the bank robbers who are in jail right now, maybe you want to start lawyering up and saying that you feel violated. You're being kidnapped by being put in prison for robbing banks. Because technically... If we have laws on the books that say it's, it's illegal to come into this country, now you're upset because you got flown to Martha's venue. Hmm. Well, if somebody wants to fly me to Hawaii or the Virgin Islands, I'll volunteer. Free flight? Of course I'll take one. They are suing the Santos for flying them to Martha's venue. That's their punishment? They were kidnapped? Are you freaking kidding me? How many illegals have died? How many, how much fentanyl has came over since we've been allowing the borders to be wide open? See, this is what's wrong with the countries. These lawyers, there's too many lawyers in, that, that's in politics right now, and there's too many uh, lawyer organizations that's running around looking to sue people over nothing. They broke in the country, and they're saying that we violated their constitutional rights. Bum, 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 I'm bumping my horn. Wait a minute. You mean illegal immigrants have constitutional rights? We don't even have constitutional rights. Look how they did the former president, Donald Trump, who's supposed to be still the current president. Look how they did him. Did they give him any rights? What about the January the 6th folks who's sitting in prison for trespassing? Did you, did you people worry about their rights? So now they're saying that the illegal immigrants have more rights than the former president. Because they took classified, they took his information that was lawyer that his him and his lawyer were sharing, and they still kept that. And the DO, DOJ don't want to give that back up. We got people sitting in in a cell and all kind of messed up conditions for the January the sixth for trespassing, and these legals being are being flown to Martha's Vineyard. Okay, the people for January the sixth are like to be flown down to Martha's Vineyard. You can't make this up. You really can't. This is what's wrong with our country. There is no law no more. We got to stop these Republicans from, from grandstanding talking about wait till the election. Democrats don't wait till the election. They don't wait till something happens. When they want to impeach Donald Trump, made up, trumped up charges by a phony whistleblower, they did it. They did it. Matter of fact, they did it three times. And now you're telling me that we can't do anything about the border being wide open. We shouldn't have to fly. Technically speaking, I wouldn't be flying because you're telling me to give you a free plane ride for breaking the law. Okay, if I rob a bank, can I get a free uh, trip 
over to the Virgin Islands or something, if I'm wrong. But this is what they're saying, actually. They're being rewarded for breaking the law. Carrie, talk to me about headline number one, which is this lawsuit, class action lawsuit. We're just finding out new details about as we're coming on the air. What's up with it? I just read through it, Hallie. It was filed earlier today in the U.S. District Court in Massachusetts, filed by Allianz Americas. That's the Alliance of Americas, a group that represents migrants on behalf of several what lawyers often call John Doe's and Jane Doe's. In this particular case, filing the lawsuit against Ron DeSantis for taking those 48 Venezuelan migrants from Texas, landing in Florida, and then eventually depositing them in Martha's Vineyard. The law. You can't make this up. Now, I heard that DeSantos was planning on sending some to Delaware. They haven't arrived yet, but that's what the, the theory is now. They're sending some to Delaware. I think, personally, we're spending too much money on them. Because is it possible for the governors of these different states to, to tell the airplane, you can't land here? I mean, I, I, I'm, I don't know about the law there, but is it possible to say we're not accepting any illegals who are being brought in that we didn't actually allow to come over? I don't care where they're coming from. Joe Biden in this administration has been flying illegals all around the United States, and nobody has filed one single lawsuit. See, the lawyers got together and said, you can get some money for breaking the law. We reward you for breaking in the country. No, they're not seeking asylum. What about all the, the, the drugs that's coming over? I mean, we got more fent fentanyl coming over than ever before. What about the women that's being assaulted, who's being brought over here illegal? What about the children who's been exploited? What about people who are dying? You know people are dying coming over here illegally? But the media said not a mumbling word. 50 illegal immigrants are causing this kind of uproar from the media, the fake media, all this uproar right now, now they're upset. They hadn't been upset with almost over 2 million, close to, I say close to 4 million, everybody else is saying 2 million. I'm saying 4 million. Illegals who have came over, because we don't have an accurate count, really. You've never seen the media cover this. The media was never upset when illegals were dying when Joe Biden was allowing them to come over. When they was, they was dying in hot trucks. You never saw the media cover this. And they always try to say, the Santos is doing a political ploy. Acting as if these illegals are being abused by going to Martha's venue is a political ploy. Nobody's mistreating them. Free, a, a free a flight over to Martha's venue, and this is, this is, I think they're saying that this is worthy of a lawsuit. What has happened to our country? We have no laws no more. And if the Republicans don't do something and stop just talking, I'm sick of the Republicans talking. No, I'm not going to send you any money. Do something. Some should have been done about this. Now they're upset. At least we're getting some attention because we couldn't get any of the media to pay attention to the open borders. This is the most they've ever talked about it. And they're not talking about our borders being wide open and all the homeless people are suffering over here in this country, high gas prices and high food prices in this country, they're concerned about the 50 illegal immigrants who have flown to Martha's Vineyard. I'll take a free trip to Martha's Vineyard. I mean, this is outrageous when you think about it. They are suing for a free trip to Martha's Vineyard after they broke into the country. Are you understanding what's going on in this country? We have no laws no more. How is it possible for illegals to have constitutional rights? By law, they're not even legal to come over here. They said, no. Okay, then. Well, Brittany Griner's over there in that Russian prison, right? So you can't break laws in other countries. Somebody went over to try to go to Mexico. Remember that, that, uh, that veteran who was in the military in Mexico arrested one military person who went to Mexico? Arrested him. But when they come over here, they get free plane rides to Martha's venue and turn around and sue you because the left don't want you uh, exporting these illegals or transporting these illegals to their sanctuary cities. All of a sudden, sanctuary cities are not a good idea. You should be happy that they're going to your sanctuary cities, but now the lawyers are involved. The lawyers should be sued for bringing this fr frivolous lawsuit in a court of law saying their constitutional rights have been violated. 
they violate our rights. I mean, think about this. The American people don't even have as many rights as these illegals. Don't you wish your government and these uh, phony lawyers worked as hard for the American people when our rights were being violated? Crime galore going on. Every city is having crime spikes. What are they doing? Worrying about 50 illegal immigrants that were flown to Martha's venue. What punishment? Oh my God, they were mistreated. They were kidnapped. You knew it was coming when Gavin Newsom and the rest of these liberals start talking about this. Is, and some ignorant uh, sheriff in Texas, uh, close to El Paso, where some nut job is talking about he's going to see about pressing charges. Why don't you do your damn job and stop them from coming into Texas, you clown you? I've never seen anything like this before in my life. We are arguing over illegals being brought in illegally, and now they're being flown to Martha's Venue, and that's worthy of a lawsuit. But the two million who came in, and the ones Joe Biden was flying all over in the middle of the night, National Guard protecting them, Nobody filed a lawsuit. Not one single Republican. So when Biden is flying these people all over the fruited plain in the middle of the night, I didn't hear a peep out of those people. Okay? I didn't hear a peep. I haven't heard a peep about all the people that have been told by Biden you can just come in and they're going, they're being abused by the cartels, they're drowning in the Rio Grande. You had 50 that died in some shed in Texas. I heard no outrage about any of that. Uh, I haven't heard outrage about all the fentanyl that's come across the border that's killing Americans in record numbers. I don't hear, I don't hear outrage about the criminal aliens that have gotten through and have then victimized people, not only in Florida, but all throughout the country. I didn't hear any outrage about that. The only thing I hear them getting upset about is you have 50 that end up in Martha's Vineyard. Then they get really upset. They're not on our side. Because if they were on our side, they would be doing something about all the illegal activity going on. Is it only that the Democrats can sue and impeach and do everything else. Joe Biden ain't been impeached yet. Look at all the stuff Hunter Biden with. We got concrete evidence on Hunter Biden's laptop. It ain't just one laptop. We don't know how many laptops Hunter Biden got. We don't, Hunter Biden don't know how many laptops he got because he was high. And then Joe Biden talking about he's kicked the habit. Child, please. He's kicked the habit like Pookie has kicked the habit. The crackhead Pookie on the street corner who smokes crack regularly all day long, who tell you he likes to get high. This is Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden is the white version of Pookie. Matter of fact, I may start calling Hunter Biden Pookie. Pookie getting high all the time and not one single proper investigation. Pookie is cutting, the white Pookie is cutting deals with China, Ukraine, and everything else. Why he's getting high? China know he's getting high. Russia know he's getting high. Ukraine knows he's getting high. And the CIA is playing dumb all of a sudden. FBI don't know what to do. Oh, we're investigating this. It's open. We can't talk about it. It's going to be, the case of Hunter Biden is probably going to be open until we die or Joe Biden dies, one of the two. You can't make this stuff up. This is an outrage.